At this working garage in Halethorpe, Maryland, students are learning how to fix cars. Bring the RPM up a little bit. Most are former prisoners, eager to become auto technicians. You want to test the fuses? I learned about this program while in prison. And what it does, it trains you and prepares you to be in the workforce. The hands-on training is part of a paid internship program created by Vehicles for Change a 24-year-old nonprofit that fixes donated cars and provides them to low-income families at low cost. Our guys spend four months here, they train up, they take the student ASE exams, and then when they graduate, we're able to place them in with our employment partners throughout the region. Three, two, one. The program includes training using virtual reality, or VR, technology. With this, you get the mindset before you get the hands-on which is the whole idea. What I love about it is how immersive the technology is. Being able to go into a headset and being able to be single focused on something, have it kind of gamify to make something fun is I think a great way to learn, especially when you're in an entry level position. More than 250 people have gone through the training program with 95% having found jobs, the nonprofit says. For many, it's a chance at a better life. Without this program, I probably would be back in prison. There's no more prison for me, thanks to these guys. Using VR technology to teach skills is more than just a trend, Crawford says. So we really believe that this is just going to be the way of life in the world of profits and nonprofits. The goal for this nonprofit is to expand the program nationally and eventually overseas. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Halethorpe, Maryland.